A new Hytale blog post just dropped, updating us all on the game's progress and announcing that they just had their first external playtest. It's been a year since we got news this big, so bear with my excitement. This blog post was actually split between CEO Noxie and game director John Hendricks. They're popping out from behind the curtain of secrecy to share how they've grown as a studio and to announce that Hytale has seen a lot of progress. They're really getting where they need to be with this game after all of this time, with 110 team members, many of which met at Riot Games HQ in LA last month, likely testing the game and talking over their plans leading up to launch. So, what's the news? Well, the world of Hytale has expanded massively, and whilst there are lots of things the team really want you to experience for the first time in-game, there are a series of big reveals to look forward to that are lined up for before the game's release, including a showcase of the new combat system, as well as the game's new world generation and the engine itself, all of which we're yet to see after the team spent years improving them. But now, those significant reveals begin. As Noxie provides a status update claiming that two major parts of the game are finally coming together. The new engine, which has been completely overhauled in an aim to step away from Java and target mobile console as well as PC, and the experiences and mechanics of the game that have been designed and prototyped by the team ever since the engine started getting upgraded. They touch on their year-long lack of updates later, but as it stands, they are now internally testing all of their tools, finalizing mechanics like the world gen variables, terrain editing brushes, and fine-tuning VFX, which we also saw advancements to last year. With all of that said, the team announced that they've now hit a major milestone, with Hytale having its first external playtest, meaning that people from outside the company finally got to play the game to some degree. According to the team, they loaded a combat prototype onto a room of machines, potentially devices of all kinds, and ran players through a series of different exercises, likely battling against enemies, testing fighting styles and weapon types, and this is the Hypixel team we're talking about. I'm sure they made it really fun and really engaging, ensuring they got an idea of how new players handle PvE and PvP combat. Apparently, the test ended with duels and team deathmatches, and during all of it, the team tested an extensive number of systems for balance and flexibility, measuring stats like player movement, abilities used, weapons, armor, items, buffs, and even magic. So let's be clear here, when they said they were playtesting combat, they didn't just mean two people fighting one-on-one -on -one with swords, they really went all out, allowing testers to use charge-up moves, they likely had different tiers of armor, plus the mention of items, buffs, and magic really gets me excited. We've seen staffs and spellbooks, as well as ways to work together as a team and buff one another. Could the testers have formed a party and took part in a mini dungeon as one of the challenges? And who knows what types of items could come into use during combat? There's probably a plethora of them, but I just hope that at least one player got to throw a rock at a mob. John, the game director, went on to say, I'm happy to report that we learned a lot, and the brave playtesters had a great time. At one point, two of the testers silently conspired to escape the arena. We didn't think it was possible. We were glued to our screens as they worked together, communicating through a series of nods, squats, and gestures in order to get one of them over the walls. If they're listening to this, they should know that we cheer. A very Hytale moment. This is super wholesome to hear. The fact that the players were new and were finding ways to communicate instantly, I'm not saying Hytale is unique in this sense, but clearly the game is accessible. It abides by gaming conventions. It flows as you would expect. There will be a learning curve for sure, but from the sounds of it, we can slip right into things like movement, combat, and more of the initial mechanics. They say the plan now is to take a big step, prepping another wave of features for playtesting as each come online. And this is another reason why not just Hytale, but a lot of game development takes time. It's not all pretty work and crazy, flashy weekly game updates. The systems and backend of the game are massive. Improve Improvements are gonna take a while, which is why we don't receive as many updates currently. Regardless, John still touched on the reason for the game's delay. Quote, more performance, adaptability, and platform support? Yes, please. Still, apparently there is more to the story than that. While prototyping, they made lots of exciting discoveries that they needed to work through, choosing to spend extra time now building out flexible systems and processes so that creators, including themselves, can move really fast once those systems are ready. It's a go-slow-to-be-fast process. Quote, we felt good about our core gameplay, but there was work to be done to bring it all together into a cohesive whole. 
We have to remember they're also an operating company, training new team members every day and needing to assure they approach the workload as efficiently as possible. The team then went on and revealed some images that reflect just how deep their lore, design, art, and code goes while telling the stories of the world's inhabitants throughout Adventure Mode, such as this image showcasing three Outlanders, members of a mysterious cult-like human faction from the snowy zone of Boria. These are actually one of the most fleshed out factions besides Trox and Quebecs, yet we still know very little about them. The team had lots of lore prepared for these guys, but they were missing that same depth in the game world itself, but not anymore. Quote, the next time you see Orbis, you can expect it to be different in many ways. And whilst it will feel familiar in many others, it's something that you should definitely be excited for. The next image shows a Ferran, a fox-based race previously known to only inhabit the deserts of Zone 2, but John reveals through this interesting costume design that the factions of Orbis are not restricted to specific biomes or zones, something the community has definitely considered for a long time, but that has never actually been confirmed concretely by the devs. Noxie, the CEO of Hypixel, spoke more on their progress and their hiring process. It has almost been a year since they last updated us, but they've rarely been as busy or as productive as they have been in the last 12 months. They are pleased at their progress, and the community, as ever, has remained a huge source of inspiration and motivation to the team. Noxie thanked the fan artists, content creators, lore speculators, and question askers for sticking around all this time. And nothing reflected this better than a gift sent to the Hypixel offices. A beautiful carved board signed by creators from all parts of the Hytale community. Noxie said, I wanted to take a moment to say thank you on behalf of the entire team to everyone involved in making this happen. On another note, whilst in the process of hiring, the team stated that they've had support from contractors, external partners, and especially Riot Games themselves, who have been diligently backing the project. The team also announced that they have more roles open in all departments, so it's worth checking their website if you're interested. This third art piece was shown by once community member, now team member, Righteous Pebbles, showcasing the wastelands of Zone 2 with a Ferran overlooking an adventurer on the approach. A large bug-like structure, likely Skerrick related, lurks ahead with luminescent, almost technological features. What are these creepy eyes, these strange pipes? Where does this entrance lead? It's great to see that previews of this game still get me hyped after five years, and I got to talking with Buddha after the blog post dropped. I expressed my sentiment to finally getting one at long last and congratulated him on the playtest. The obvious elephant in the room, however, is that there wasn't actually any new gameplay in the blog post. Not even a screenshot? What gives? Perhaps systems are not quite ready yet, or maybe, just maybe, they have an even bigger post prepared for next month. I mean, they did say that they wanted to deliver substantial updates when they next spoke to us, so I think a lot of people in the community were expecting videos and in-game images. The fact that there were none is quite unusual. I'd definitely keep your hopes up and be on the lookout for something bigger soon. As far as when these next playtests will start, the future is unclear, but the team have promised repeatedly that we will be getting a much deeper, much closer look at combat and the new engine very soon. So whilst the Hytale Twitter changes up their profile art and works on their next update, why not recap everything that's happened with Riot's new CEO and how it might impact Hytale's release, which you can find in this video right here. Continue smiling, consider subscribing, and thanks as always for watching Quebec Corner. Stay safe and keep free.